Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Let's give this another go. Let's see if we can do either the dark room or the chest with this horrible character. But at least we don't have to go particularly fast anymore because we have done that entire path. So I'm hoping that being able to slow down is going to give me exactly what I need to defeat Mega Satan, perhaps. Because that would be a really nice thing to get out of the way. Plus, at that point, we'll nearly have done Mega Satan on every non-tainted character. And what that means is... I think there is an unlock for doing that, so... It would be nice if we could get that out of the way. Plus, uh... Yeah, it's just another one of those things that would be a nice little milestone, I suppose. Equality is a trinket. It probably will not get used very much because it requires your coins, keys, and bombs to be on the same amount. And quite frankly, seeing as I currently have 16 of them, it seems unlikely. Balls of Steel does not help us in our current situation. Could theoretically help us with uh, one very specific revive item, I think. Which is in the secret room pool, and I've definitely forgotten the name of it. But Spirit Shackles? Might be Spirit Shackles that recharges when you pick up a soul heart. I'm going to say yes and ignore all possible... Uh, Proof of uh, it being otherwise. This room is a little bit easier when you have flight because you don't need to worry about bombs and such. Flush. Um, I could see if there's a poop boss in my boss room, I guess. And if so, then we could destroy it with flush immediately. Uh, both of these items are effectively useless, unfortunately, so that's not going to happen. Also, we could just do this just for fun because uh, we do have that holy mantle effect anyway. So even if we take a hit of damage, we will recharge that shield on the next room. And uh, then we don't have anything to worry about. I wasn't sure if there was a bomb in my um, my thing there. That is not a poop-based boss, unfortunately. Not sure if there was a bomb in my shop, but if there is, it might be uh, attempting to do that. I could use flush here to make the floor a bit more wet. That's uh, effectively the only thing that's going to happen there, unfortunately. But still, hopefully the wet floor is going to cause Gemini to slip and fall and just explode. And that would make life a lot easier. Fairly unlikely, as it's not a game mechanic. But still, it would be uh, it would be a nice surprise for sure. Focusing mostly on the tiny one, just because he is a little bit more annoying when he starts running around like this. Might as well get some early damage in the way I did just there. But overall, definitely not the most difficult fight. That is tier 8, and I don't mind that, actually, so I might just take that. So far, not too excited. I will re-roll the item room item just because I think the pool is going to be a little bit more useful, even though we do have a lot of coins available. Uh, mystery sack, I'm not too interested in that, but I'm not sure if I really have any realistic way of getting anything else at this point. Unless there's the battery in that sack right there. There is not a battery. There is a justice card, justice. though. So that does give us a bomb to work with. So that is kind of nice, I suppose. This could technically be 24-hour energy. Or a range up. I'm mostly gambling on pills right now just because it's the first floor in the game. And if all falls apart, then that's ultimately not the worst thing in the world. But... Um, Hmm, that's also worth gambling on, I think. If there is a bad pill, we could consider resetting our run, if need be. But honestly, let's uh, let's just go. Should probably grab the mystery sack, though, rather than just leaving it in my item room, because it would be kind of a waste not to take it. But I'm never quite sure if this thing can drop troll bombs or not. And if it can, then I might end up dying to it, and that concerns me. Uh, I also need to actually remember that I need a bomb for the first angel room. Granted, it's not extremely likely to get an angel room this quick uh, on, on basement uh, 2, since it's impossible. But still, we do have a bomb there, so we no longer have to worry about that, unless I want to go for secret rooms that are like... Don't particularly need to look for things like um, uh, tinted rocks as much, because... The soul hearts are fairly unhelpful, and that's really the main thing I usually like to get from tinted rocks at the end of the day. Obviously, if there's a small rock in there, it becomes a little bit more tempting. That is two small batteries, which are going to recharge my item nicely. These rooms are 
fairly kind to me so far, and I can appreciate that. That's a bunch of money thanks to the fool's gold. Really, every other unlock that we've gotten so far is uh, helping us out right now, and I can appreciate that. I'm actually pretty tempted by Buddy in a Box. I'm just going to take that, because there are some pretty decent buddies in there. Plus, it is part of the conjoined transformation, and that is just a nice little thing to have for sure. I'm a little bit scared of these enemies that drop tears all over the place, but the other ones aren't as big of a deal since we can just hang out with them. They're not going to shoot me until I shoot them. Plus, I can fairly safely get rid of them from behind these rocks as well, so... Provided I don't try to rush it too much, we should be okay here. So far, so good. I would like to go into my curse room, but I'm a little bit frightened because if I do take damage in there, then uh, that's run over. But might as well check it out. A red chest and another red chest with some spiders inside it. Uh, don't think you can get bad trip like that, but explosive diarrhea isn't actually the worst thing in the world because that can help us to find boss rooms and the like. It can help us uh, destroy an angel statue as well and then immediately deal some damage to the angel after with the other bombs of course. So we could get some decent use out of that for sure. It is a little bit dangerous because of all the explosions I suppose, but ultimately I'm hoping that the danger isn't going to be too bad. Got an eternal heart from the uh, mystery sack there, which Unfortunately useless. On many other characters I'd be very happy with that, but not this time around, unfortunately. And so far this floor has been pretty kind to me. Uh, odd Mushroom, I don't really care for the speed down right now. And Tech Point 5 is something I love, so we're just gonna take that without even giving that another thought. And a little tempted to look for my secret room, because I think it's probably next to the... Um, item room right there. I think that is probably going to be worthwhile to check out. It might be above the shop here as well though and that concerns me a little bit. If it is over here then maybe we can get some good out of the shopkeeper as well. It was not over there so ultimately a waste of everyone's time. I could use the explosive diarrhea but I'd really like to be able to do something here with uh, <laughs> with that angel statue at the end of the day since we are going to try to go for Mega Satan once again. The Wormwood here decided to jump immediately, and for once I was actually ready for it. Unfortunately took a hit there, but we should be reaching the next phase fairly quickly here, I would argue. Given how much damage Wormwood has taken so far. There we go. A little bit of running around. Try not to take any more damage for the rest of the fight, and then hopefully things are going to be okay. The holes that he drops are obviously not a problem since we're flying all the time. And we don't need to worry about any of that. So, very good. Uh, this is shot speed up, but I think I'm going to re-roll it. Because I'd rather have, like, uh, yeah, most other things, really. Most tier rate ups, damage ups would be lovely. Or nothing. Ultimately, that is the danger of the Eternal D6. It can re-roll it into nothing, but I feel like we didn't really lose out on anything there. Uh, if only for the fact that... Uh, the options just weren't very good, <laughs> unfortunately. Alright, so second one also a downpour, which is nice. There is a range up there, which I don't care for too much. The box already a little bit more tempting. Two enemies right here, but you can see where they are thanks to the water. They are splashing around even though they are invisible, so that is lovely. And another soul heart. Not what we need, but at least we have an item we can re-roll a couple times here, or at least more than once. The box, as interesting as it is, I don't think it's as good as some of the other things we could possibly get. I think it's basically always a boss room item in this place as well, and... Uh, that's on the edge right there. It's, it is a range up again, but just in a slightly different flavor, I suppose, and I, I'm not really too interested in that. This room will recharge our thing entirely, so that's lovely. Do need to watch out for those tears, though, because there's a lot of tears shooting things in this room right here, and I don't care for any of them. Our buddy in a box is shooting fire tears on this floor, which uh, could end up being some useful damage for a second. And the laser from the point, Tech Point 5 is also working fairly well here, so... Overall, I'd say things are working out okay. Might as well re-roll that item once again, because... Uh, Got no real other use for it. I'm also curious if you can re-roll the key, actually. Placenta doesn't help us at all. Like, if you could re-roll the key piece into another item, that would be lovely, but I think... 
because it's a quest item, you probably cannot do that. But it would be nice. I wonder if you could make an explosion like that happen near that temperance machine there. Might have just been an enemy shot, I guess, but... It looked a little bit like an explosion for sure, so it could have been useful, but unfortunately... Not to be. Not to be. So far, this floor is also fairly kind. I'm tempted to keep my reroll for a little bit, just because we are about to fully explore this floor, I feel. But simultaneously, I guess we do have a lot of charges available if we go for the mirror dimension as well. Binky, that's all right. That is a tier rate up, and that is pretty valuable, so... That's gonna go in the maybe pile. If I can find uh, a teleportation item, then that is uh, a guaranteed item for me. And yes, something is blowing stuff up. I think it is that buddy in the box which is causing explosions, and it is, uh, it's working. <laughs> for someone that clearly doesn't have any other way of blowing things up, it can be quite nice. And it does seem to, maybe it was just because it hit a wall or a rock or something. I don't know. It's hard to tell what made it happen there, because I'm not actively paying attention to it. But if this does occasionally just cause an explosion, then this feels worthwhile. But simultaneously, if it, it's going to take a year, then I'm not really too interested in waiting for that. Again, it might have just hit an enemy or something like that, and then I don't have that luxury available right now. So instead, I think I'm just going to leave. I would love to find another bomb before we're going into our boss room as well. And also blow up the shopkeeper in the shop or secret room as well. So I think that would end up being pretty useful. Callus doesn't do anything for us, unfortunately. Actually, I think it doesn't. I'm actually curious if that does anything to the spiky rocks thinking about it. I have to assume the answer is probably not, but it does say something about spikes. The other um, thing I had there wasn't really going to do anything else anyway, so that's ultimately fine. Uh, I don't care that much. A little dumpy, I definitely don't care that much, but that's just because it's a little dangerous. I really want to go for anything that's just amazing, preferably. Anything below amazing is already kind of getting signed off right now. The mystery sock actually giving me a bomb there. A horse pill? That's unidentified. This could be terrible. I'm going to try it. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure if that's going to have a special effect for uh, being a horse pill, but we're going to find out today. It is not the kind of pill you want to have on this character, so yeah, that's unfortunate. Definitely just going to clear out some of the rest of this floor the normal way here while that pill is uh, haunting me a little bit because that is a dangerous situation to be in. And I will simply take my time to just wander around a little bit and let that item activate from time to time. There we go, suddenly we ran faster. Because I think I'm excited activates when you use it and then like 30 and 60 seconds afterwards or something like that. That's a damage up. But I don't know if the horse pill is going to activate like a whole bunch more times or something like that. And that would be fairly detrimental for sure. Can't really wager on going for the... Um, the thingy room right now either, the uh, the challenge room right now, because I think that's just too dangerous with I'm excited lurking in the background there. Yeah, there it goes again. There is definitely a chance of that activating a third time as a horse pill. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it while I'm trying to fight bosses from the downpour. It could be like Rainmaker or something like that, and then there's just tears everywhere. And that's uh, it's not great. Oh, this does re-roll, really? Okay, that's interesting. I might as well just try to get a couple re-rolls out of the way then, because I think it might end up being worthwhile here. Ooh, damn. That was an unfortunate hit right there that I was not ready for. There's another dose of I'm excited. Also, we got five bombs now, so we do actually have a decent bomb count currently, and that's nice. We can re-roll the item room item once again. Seraphim, part of the conjoined transformation, or not. I really, I don't remember if this is the one that actually wasn't anymore, or if they changed that. It's hard to tell sometimes, but either way, uh, let's just clear out a couple of these rooms. The mystery sack once again giving me two bombs. I'm actually getting to a decent bomb situation right now, and I can start looking for secret rooms and things. So that is very nice. Actually getting a lot of bombs on this floor, which is uh, surprising. I'll take it, I suppose. And I could actually just do the boss here, thinking about it as well, because um, 
might end up being worthwhile. But if it is a particularly bad boss, I might... I don't know what I would do, I guess. It, it would be nice if we could do it as safely as possible at the end of the day, but it, it's... It's a hard judgement call to make at this stage. I do want to just spend as much time as possible to... Try and get the most out of this run, obviously, but... It's, uh, it can get pretty spooky. When you have to do a particularly difficult boss multiple times. Not sure if there was anything in my shop that I would want. Also, I forgot to blow up a shopkeeper, but... I also still need to go to my secret room, so I guess we can might as well just combine these efforts. Definitely have enough money to... Go to the shop again now, though. Alright, I hope for an angel statue. A little blub is not too bad as a boss. Especially with bombs, it's not the worst boss in the world in the game for sure. Uh, and I died, so <laughs> so much for that. Let's just give that another shot. That's a really unfortunate death. That run was going okay, but yeah, you know, the holy mantle invincibility just does not last as long as it once did. <laughs> I really tried to make more of it than I realistically could, unfortunately, so yeah, definitely a waste there. Because that run was going places, I would say. It was it had decent followers. I just wasn't sure how to deal with that jumping attack, unfortunately. It's definitely not the hardest boss, and I think a single bomb probably would have taken care of that boss before he could get close to me there. So that was uh, an unfortunate mistake, seeing as my bomb count was pretty good. I'm somehow getting the same coin amount. Am I just doing the same seed again? Like, what is actually happening? <laughs> Getting very similar situation here. I might as well actually just do this boss first. Uh, the boss, I think, is incapable of hitting me here, so that's lovely. But yeah, I might as well do the boss first to see if we maybe have to reroll the item that is getting dropped since we found the boss here anyway. Not too interested in using this devil card just yet because this is kind of a freebie. I think this particular champion is just a little bit easier just because there's three of them instead of two, but because we can just hang out over these rocks and there's not that much going on. The, the regular one usually spawns flies or shoots tears or something like that after he's done running. But this one, uh, other than running, isn't really doing that much. Obviously do need to be a little bit careful with those red poops where they are, but other than that... Okay, <laughs> playing this a little bit too risky. I don't really want to reroll tier 8 right now because uh, we really could use anything that we can get our hands on right now. But yeah, it's, still, it's always a tricky call when you do or do not want to reroll. But in the boss item pool, there's only so many items that are actually useful for the loss at the end of the day. So often you do want to reroll something. I don't care about betrayal. The clicker is unfortunately not really going to help me this time either. Maybe at a different part of the run, if I was a completely different character, I'd consider it, but as it stands, it's just not the way to go right now, I feel. This is a little bit of an awkward room with how everything's laid out, but not impossible. Don't like that enemy being close to the fire, because it does transform him these days, I do believe. I was kind of hoping that little monstro there would jump into the flames, though, but unfortunately didn't feel like it. Was skirting around it for a while, but unfortunately was just not working out. Okay, that's just a little bit too good to let go. Because <laughs> that is an extra use of the Eternal D6 per room. So obviously, I would rather be able to do that. Unfortunately, the item room not giving me anything. We did get a tier 8 up from the boss, though. Zero bombs, zero keys. It is looking rough. But perhaps on the next floor, we might be able to get something done. Not going to the downpour this time around, either. Um... Well, partially because of the lack of choice, but also I kind of feel like I should probably switch it up every now and then. Curse of the Blind is not great. <laughs> it does uh, limit my options a little bit in terms of re-rolling for sure. I'm just going to press multiple buttons and hope for the best. Did get two bombs out of that, so it ended up kind of being worthwhile. <laughs> Could actually just blow up this thing right here as well. For an umbilical cord, which I'm not sure if that's going to... Okay, it's going to spawn little Steven. Which is undoubtedly going to confuse me regarding um, transformations in the future, but perhaps it will not. Perhaps this will be the one time I actually remember a thing. But I'm going to say it's fairly unlikely. I'm very capable of forgetting where little Steven comes from, as it's very rarely in the past it was because of a trinket that little Steven suddenly came along for the ride. But fair enough, we, uh, we still got a long way to go. With the uh, bombs that we have, we could go for that Tinted Rock, but I just 
don't feel like it's very worthwhile. With the two keys, I could go for the golden chest at least, though, because whatever's in there is probably going to be, like, okay at least. So that could be nice. And with that many bombs, I might as well give it a shot. Chariot card. Uh, chariot card is not bad. It isn't a lot of extra safety for one room at least. So I think I will be carrying that around for a little bit here. Blind item room, not loving it, but what are you going to do? Not terrible. Not terrible at all, but just a little worrying. I guess I could have been a teleport to the devil deal, and I think that would have been bad. <laughs> but it ended up working out, so I don't mind it. Just trying to locate my secret room now, and I do have a sensation that it's probably there. With the amount of bombs that we have, we might as well just look around for a little bit. World card, I mean, I'd rather have the safety of the chariot in these early floors as uh, it is very easy to lose a run as we saw previously. And yeah, we're just going to keep on going. There's not much uh, in the way here. Yeah, let's get that. Matchbook for three extra bombs. It's really about it, but still... It's three free bombs and technically every rollable item if at some point we feel like re-rolling our entire build, which is going to be fairly unlikely with this character because it's a it's a scary character to just take random stuff with, but when we're still in the basement, I feel like I can probably risk it. But other than that, probably not going to happen. Ragman, a little annoying for sure. Let's just place one bomb down to do most of the damage that we need to do here. Since we did get a pretty large amount of bombs during this floor after all, so might as well make some good use out of that. Easy. Destroyed. Zero keys again, which is getting a little worrying for sure. And I could just briefly look for my super secret room while we still have some time available here. Let's see what we can do. It's probably over here. And it is... And two keys, which one of these I can just put in there. I could blindly buy the item and hope for a, a black candle. And it was pay to play, which means keys are going to be less relevant. Actually, I think that it effectively means that I can just start using keys on every gold chest that I find. So actually, don't hate that. Since our key situation was getting pretty rough there. So we do need to have money available to go into locked doors now, but... That is about it. Now to try and find more item rooms and the like. No curse this time around, so that is wonderful. Do need to start learning how to dodge vertically when getting shot horizontally, but that is a lesson for another day, I'm sure. Uh, tempted to just bomb through some of these rooms, actually, just so I can maybe... Um, I was kind of hoping that would explode closer to the door. But just so I can like preserve some of these charges for any room where I need to reroll an item. But We'll see what we can get at the end of the day. I think it's probably also better that I just don't go to downpour as this character as long as I don't need to. Because I feel like I'm not going to take the blind item anyway. So I'd rather just take the, the safe option every time. Kind of a rough curse room, but sure. Ultimately not really doing that much. So I will learn to live with that. Another big empty room. These enemies can't actually do anything to me while I'm floating above this tiny hole here, so we can fairly safely take care of at least most of them by just hanging out. Occasionally they're getting slowed, which I think is by the uh, the creep shot, which is nice. I do like to slow them down a little bit if I can. This room's not too bad. A couple of nasty enemies that explode into tears when they die, but the tears are always going to be diagonal, so no worries there. So fair enough. I'm liking this tier 8 so far. The tier 8's good. I would love a little bit more damage, but we'll see what we can get. I'm really not agreeing with that hit right there, but sure. It is the video game's call at the end of the day. But I'm not saying I'm happy about it. <laughs> I would prefer if that didn't hit me, but you know what? It is what it is. We'll just keep on going for now. There is a coin there. Big old terrible floor. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Not exactly what you want to see there. I need to get that coin at some point, but I'll come back for it, I'm sure. There's the shop. That's actually quite nice, because it means we can start re-rolling stuff, hopefully. Uh, greed doesn't show up until Caves 2, so it should definitely be a shop at least. Gonna have to spend one coin to get in here, but... 
With item like these, who needs uh, enemies? Uh, smelter. Mm. You know what? I don't actually hate the smelter. Just eat this trinket and always have little Steven with me. But it's definitely going to cause even more confusing regarding uh, regarding why I don't don't get conjoined. Because <laughs> unfortunately, even though little Steven is right there, he will not be part of the conjoined transformation if he's coming out of a trinket. I'm also, just not. I don't think little Steve actually counts as the conjoined transformation, does it? I'm actually not 100% sure about that. But now that I'm thinking about it, he might actually just be a just a follower that just sort of follows you around. Yeah, not 100% sure, but I think that's accurate. Should look for my secret room. That is another thing that I would like to have smelted, actually. Common cold is okay. It's some extra damage, at least. I'm not, like, super excited about it, but it, it'll hopefully get some of the job done. <laughs> and that'll just have to do... Bombs are key. That's a little rough for sure as well. Since keys are mostly the thing I don't really need right now, but sure, we do still at least have one bomb available, but I was kind of hoping to look for my secret room, and that does kind of limit my possibilities a bit here. So, yeah, unfortunate. We can at least get a couple of coins that I just didn't pick up. There's a couple of poops that we still have to destroy, and with this poop trinket they might... Get a little bit of a better treasure as well. So far, this might work out in a positive light in some way, shape, or form. Uh, hoping to get some of that damage over time with the common cold. Doesn't do that much, unfortunately, but, you know, it's a little bit. It'll have to do. And because of that 9-volt battery, I can just use the smelter once and then immediately re-roll whatever item comes after it. So I'm fairly happy about that. Um... Because we only really need to clear one room to solve that issue. Uh, that's not bad. That is not bad. There's options is always lovely. Especially when you effectively get it for free from an item that you were planning to buy anyway. So from now on we are going to have the poop trinket at our disposal for the remainder of the run. I'm hoping that's going to give us a couple more consumables at least. We are already in Caves 1, so Caves 2 is the most likely place to find some poops, but if we find like a card against humanity or something like that, then theoretically we could still get some good stuff in there. And let's go do the boss. Uh, unfortunately... Uh, this is actually okay. This is fine. I was going to say, unfortunately, we didn't blow up a shopkeeper, but I think I actually did. <laughs> so uh, that was just going to be a straight-up lie, but... I'm still a little unhappy about my bomb situation. I'm also fairly unhappy about this champion situation, I'm realizing, because I didn't expect him to attack the way that he does. And that is worrying. Because that's exactly what you never want to be able to say during a boss fight in this game, because that is how you die. Uh, I think that works, though. There we go, we got perfection. Which I definitely want to have over what I currently have. That's another tears up. Which I will take. Uh, I think perfection with common cold is probably going to be alright. So I think that's just going to be the end of uh, little Steve in there. Because unfortunately we do not have the space to take another trinket there. And even if I were to find my angel room in a secret room. Then uh, I wouldn't have a bomb to blow <laughs> up the angel statue, so that wouldn't work out. I noticed the four poops in the corner at the very end there, and unfortunately I just didn't do anything with it. That item's gone. But I'm hoping that perfection is once again just going to help me out a lot here with that extra common cold usage. Common cold, I'd, I'd argue, is mostly good at the start of the game because it just doesn't hit that frequently, but still... I'm hoping that it's going to work out. I probably also shouldn't be eating every pill that I can find with this character, but you know what? I've made my choices. <laughs> I kind of want to go in that room, but again, I need bombs for that. And that is the one thing we're lacking. I was trying to get that green fly to blow up in the right place, but it didn't work out. Uh, more keys. We do have bombs or key in our pill pool, so in theory, we should be able to find something somewhere, but... Obviously, never quite guaranteed. Do need to find that pill again before we can actually uh, get our bomb count back to a more usable level. 
But we'll see what we see, I suppose. We're getting some coins from these poops at least, so that might end up helping us in our shop situation. Soul of Bethany is all right. It's a little bit of extra defense for a short while. God, Endless Nameless is so good, but it's just never worthwhile to get rid of perfection as this character, unfortunately. You just never really end up losing it, and any luck-based item just becomes so good with perfection. If we get that fire again, then that is just going to destroy enemies all over the place, and that's obviously so strong. We got a second bomb at least, so we could at least technically go into that one room if we really wanted to, but it is uh, not great to do, I suppose, for the main reason that I just have zero bombs left for the angel room once again. Lazarus' rags does not work out for me. Like a cards I might as well use once for a judgment card, which is not too terrible. Uh, I'm actually just going to see if I can blow that up near a place which would be the secret room. Which theoretically might actually be next to the room that requires two bombs to go into. So that would be a really nice, really nice thing for sure. I don't think it's guaranteed, unfortunately, but no, it's not impossible. And that's good enough for me. <laughs> So let's see if we can make something work out with that. Please be nice. There we go. The secret room is in the right place, so that is just very helpful. Socks for the speed up. I'm a little concerned about these rocks, though, as you can probably imagine. If I just hold straight... Oh, actually, I just blew up a rock. Never mind. <laughs> Problem solved. All right, so it is a good one, and we do have an extra bomb there, so let's just go there. Um, holy water is not bad. It's a rough one. I wouldn't mind just re-rolling both of these, but holy water does have its uses these days. The, the ability to actually just freeze enemies can be so useful. So it's hard to say no to something like that, unfortunately, because I would have liked to. I would have been okay with that. And it's gone. That's unfortunate. Bunch of enemies, but Holy Water already showing off that it can hit at least once. So kind of appreciative of that. It's Holy Water still there somehow, so fair enough. I actually have a decent amount of money again, so that is looking good for any shop-related activities. The Holy Water is in the middle of the room and no one else is going there anymore, so that's unfortunate, but... We're getting some work done. The Bethany tears are actually doing some decent damage as well, because I'm trying so hard not to get rid of them, especially with Flight, it's not too bad. And that is helping out for sure. A lot of money. Big floor as well, actually. There's the shop right there. Might as well enter that the moment I can. But so far, this floor is treating me fairly kindly, and I appreciate that. I will also say that in runs that try to do anything with the loss and just end up not getting anything... I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the run that doesn't have progress, but this this would be the first one, I suppose, which is unfortunate. So 50-50, <laughs> or uh, Steam Cell, rather. Very tempting, but I don't think there's going to be that much more I can buy. So I will just take that, and the battery is an all right choice, I think. It's a rough one, because obviously 50% off is wonderful. But I just don't think it's worth it right now. If only due to the fact that there's only, like, so many stores left. Uh, there is still the possibility of uh, Ultra Greed, Super Greed, whatever it's called. And... Keeping all of that in mind, it is, uh... Yeah, probably just not worth it, especially with the amount of money that I currently have. It's not like I'm particularly running low right now. So I'd rather just keep it. There is a stars card there, but if I don't lose this chariot card, then I'm just gonna leave that alone. The stain, not immediately terrible, but I'm not loving it. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't get out in the holy water like I'd hoped. Ended up doing it there though, which is wonderful. Actually getting some decent damage there. Holy water is actually helping out a lot. And that is an angel room. Let's see what we can get. It is the Urn of Souls. Not a super big fan right now, because I don't want to really get rid of this 
Eternal D6, really. Also, it's not charged, so I can't really use it against the Angel either. I don't know. That's a... It's not a bad item. But I don't know if I should take it over the Eternal D6, because I think it's going to be worthwhile to reroll a couple more things. That's... Uh, well, most of the things we've gotten so far have been due to rerolls, <laughs> so I really would prefer to keep it for a little bit longer, for sure. That's a tough one. Not loving that. Uh, nice, thank you. Let's take that. I'm gonna reroll it, and it's gone. That's, that's unfortunate. You'd almost call that a waste of an angel room, but I don't know if I had a choice there. I, I really need these rerolls, unfortunately. <sighs> that hurts, though. <laughs> it does hurt. I was kind of hoping for a teleport there, since even though it's not fully battery charged, I wouldn't have minded it. I guess I could have just left and fully recharged it before opening that other um, other chest for sure, but. I didn't I didn't feel like thinking about things. I just felt like going at the point at that point. I am still pretty happy about these Bethany fires though. Soul of Bethany actually lasting a lot longer than I would have expected because usually these these fl these fires just disappear. And I guess I am more actively trying not to get hit right now, but I didn't I didn't even give it a, the possibility of a thought that perhaps maybe these flames are keepable. <laughs> maybe it's because I'm flying as well and these early floors do you do get a lot of benefit from flight after all. Uh, maybe because stuff like that hadn't happened that much yet where an enemy just flies towards me. I don't know. Oh, this is rough. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like how those tears are flying, but it worked out. And also still finding a surprising amount of poops on these floors as well. I would have thought those would have run out by now, but apparently not. Uh, this floor, on the other hand, it's been uh, a long road to nowhere. This is a lot of jumping enemies. Finally getting a shop, at least, but it might be greed again. We'll see, I suppose, but... Not gonna take too much longer here, probably. God, these enemies are taking a while to kill as well. That is concerning. <laughs> okay... That's a tough one to re-roll. It's only temporary damage. It's like three minutes or something like that, but really? I could use it. God. These floors are being rude. I'm gonna buy the bomb at least, and I'm just gonna take this. Even though it's only a temporary damage, I think it's gonna make us just fly through this floor right here, and I think that might end up being worthwhile. I don't know where my secret room is, and I don't think it's in the far north. Unfortunately, because that would have been really nice for sure. But I think that's impossible. I don't know what hit me there. That's worrying. <laughs> Lock up. Sure. Doesn't really affect me that much at this point in the game because of perfection. But still, anything is a little bit, I suppose. Certain items have like a cap of really high luck. So it could end up being useful. I'm going to bomb this just in case it is a secret room. It's not. Bombs are key. There we go. I think I'll just use that immediately because I think I much rather would have the bombs and suddenly two bombs appear in front of me as it uh, often does <laughs> But still I think I think that's the correct call. I'm gonna blow that up because that's definitely a secret room Just one of those room layouts, but I feel like the other one was one of those room layouts as well And that didn't work out so who knows what's true anymore. That is barely a secret room unfortunately. I'm just going to go up there because I think I'm going in the right direction towards the end of this floor in the other direction. I would really like to find my item room. Unfortunately, this is just a dead end, though. Pity. But fair enough. <laughs> oh, that second rock probably could have killed me as well. That would have been a rough way to end this run, but not an impossible one with a character like this one. It is one of the easiest way to die to just spiky rock somewhere in a room for sure. Uh, that does nothing. That it's not terrible, but it's not really working out for me. I don't know about glitter bombs. I don't think that's worthwhile. 16 bombs right now. I could get a couple of consumables out of it for sure. I just don't think it's worth it. I don't think that's worth it at all, but I don't like running back and forth to re-roll the entire time either, so it's... It's a rough one. I'm going to reroll this one more time and hopefully I can just take what I can get at that stage because this this red stew is running out. Party can join. I'll take it. Kind of a weird baby for sure with how it shoots tears, but it'll work, I suppose. Oof. 
it'll have to do. That is a boss room. Just picking up everything here, and it is the cage. Not the best choice. Hopefully you get stunned. Didn't get stunned. Which is a shame. Shooting lots of tears, destroying all my little flames there. Very unfortunate. And that's a damage up. Didn't get an angel room or a devil deal. Could really use one of those. Well, I guess it's fine that it didn't open up a devil deal either, but... I would love to just get some stuff here. If I end up uh, in the situation where the red steel is just run out on this floor, I guess I could use the shell game to maybe reroll some items as well, but I don't know how much longer the stew is going to be active. Didn't really pay attention to exactly what time I picked it up, so... Yeah, there is that. The boiled baby, or whatever it's called, actually did some work there. More than I expected. I appreciate that for sure. Didn't mean to open that during the fight, but sure, puberty doesn't do anything for me. Speed up, pretty good. At least we now have a regular damage up with that stapler, at least. So we do have that going for us. It's a little bit of an extra for sure. I forget which depth floor we're on, but I feel like it's depth two. Yep. Um, that damage is quickly going down. <laughs> it is still fairly good right now, but... Uh, it's a worrying situation for sure. Should actually check out that challenge room, thinking about it. Uh, that's not that usable. Little spewer doesn't really work for me. That's key. Okay, that... That changes things a bit. Uh, because if I get a devil deal now, and it's good, then I can just take Dad's key to use that to open up the... Uh, Mega Satan door. And then I won't need to uh, have the thing anymore, but then I also won't be able to re-roll anything. Also, I guess I need to get the full card... ...on this floor. Because if I don't get a devil deal... ...then at least I, I can... Just teleport and take it then. Like, there's, a, there's some options here. <laughs> there's some options here for sure. That's key is definitely a guaranteed way to open that door at least. So that... If there's no angel room on it, If there's a devil deal on this floor, then... I, I, I pretty much have to take that's key or else I'm just not going to be able to go to Mega Satan at all. Um, I'm just going to do this for the fun of it. If there is an angel room, then I don't need Dad's key anymore. I can reroll the item room item. I kind of forgot about the challenge room, but fair enough. Uh, let's just open that a couple times. There is a couple keys in there, including a charge key, and I'm probably going to pick that up. Uh, tier rate doesn't help me anymore. Data miner helps no one. Book of Shadows! Oh no, that's also so good. Oh god, that's a rough one. Also, there was a gold chest in that tinted rock. I could actually give a couple bombs to that bomb beggar as well. I also have no idea where my secret room is. Not in any of those places. I'm fairly sure I tried one of the spots twice at this stage, but... That's fine, there's the full card. Uh, 25 minutes in, speed up. Uh, uh, there's some choices to be made here, and I don't like any of them. <laughs> it's a rough situation, but Book of Shadows is such a good defense item on this character. It's even better with 4.5 Volt, I'd say, but especially against Mega Satan, because you get so much invulnerability because of it. Uh, God. This is a rough one. I'm fairly sure it, this is impossible, right? Yeah. Guess it's next to the item room. It doesn't seem too strange. Really? Uh, okay. Maybe next to the curse room? I bombed that wall, I'm fairly sure, but I'm not sure if I bombed this one. Ah, I probably could have done that earlier. <laughs> ah, well. Destroy that one. Oh, God. I don't like any of this. This is such a rough call, because Book of Shadows is so good. I could just take it with me into the mom fight, just in case. I won't get a reroll for the fight. Ah, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's 
It's not great, but it'll have to do. I have to play kind of well here, but technically not impossible. Just going to focus for a bit. Mm. That's good. That's kind. Keep this up, please. Got two shops with three in as well. That's just really annoying. I, that one hit me a little bit late, I suppose, but... I was talking about other stuff every time I entered this shop and Greed happened to be there every time. <laughs> it was just kind of annoying. But it is what it is. Alright. Fine, fine, fine. God, my damage is terrible. Doing Mega Satan like that is going to be miserable. Nothing, really. Okay, um... I guess I have to take the negative? I still have to do the lamb as well. Uh, but I really need damage. I really need anything right now, so I guess I'm just gonna go to the lamb. I don't like that. And I guess we are also gonna keep Dad's key. God. This is not what I had hoped for. <laughs> I was definitely hoping to go to the chest in this run, but quite frankly, I just need something here, and the Polaroid effect is unfortunately not going to happen with this character, so I really just need anything. And I have to reroll you, it became nothing. God. Very rough. And three sets of red hearts. All right, well, fair enough. We're gonna take Dad's key, we're gonna take it all the way to the lamb, hopefully. Perhaps get a devil deal on the next floor, it's probably gonna be an angel room. I won't have to fight the angel at least, if it is an angel room, but if it is a devil deal then we might be able to get something good out of that at least. We can get something like brimstone, that would be lovely, but ugh. Not happy. <laughs> I'm having to work way too hard for this and I don't care for it. Two gray chests. Uh, might as well just use that. Just in case the secret room was next to it. Health up. Two bombs. Did not mean to pick up that pill. But it worked out. Get out of there. Just gonna be using the dad's key a couple times here and there just to save up on some bombs as well. Because Dad's key can open up secret rooms. It can really just open up any door, so it does have its uses. I also think there was a tinted rock in there, and since my speed is pretty high, I wouldn't mind trying to look for um, uh, the, the thing. Yeah, there is a tinted rock there for the small rock. Or tinted rocks such as these, which just contain a bunch of cool stuff. That's also a pretty good deal. But we can use Dad's key every single room. I don't need to particularly do that room either, which is nice. Uh, this isn't great, but with some patience we can make it through, I'm sure. <laughs> it's a little spooky, but we'll get the job done. Just looking for super secret rooms in that room just in case, but it seemed fairly unlikely, but I never really know where to look with this, uh, with the womb floor layouts. They tend to be rather large and confusing. There we go. Secret room open. There's a couple people in here. Don't really need to blow up shopkeepers at this stage, I suppose, because it's a 100% chance at this point because the door just never opened. <laughs> I'm not bitter about it. I am annoyed, though. Oh, God. Scary enemies. Never a huge fan of, of anything that looks particularly scary in this game. And admittedly, you do kind of desensitize to the enemies in this game for sure, the more you play it. But there's still certain enemies that if you haven't seen them frequently enough, they can be nasty, creepy bastards that end your run when you're playing a character such as the Lost. So, playing it as safe as we can, while continuously screaming for our lives. And that's what we're trying to go for. Wheel of Fortune could have some consumables in it. I also have the money to play that thing for sure, but... Not really worthwhile, probably. 
just leaving the doors open as well could be pretty useful if uh, rooms like this end up being particularly nasty. But holy water once again showing off why it is one of the better items in the game now. But just making one of them not move the entire time, so that is wonderful. I do feel like the negative is just giving me barely that amount of extra damage that it's just killing enemies a little bit nicer and it's uh, it's a wonderful time. It is a wonderful time indeed. It makes me feel so much safer about my current living situation. And I can appreciate that. Oh uh, god. Yeah, just let's re-enter that. <laughs> let's just give that another shot. Uh, don't like how that went, but still... Kind of worked out in the long run. Didn't expect that boss to go in a different direction when I went in a different direction, but he did. Mustn't, I can't say I care for it. No, I can't say that I enjoyed that very much, but that's what the bosses do now, I guess. There's the super secret room. So that's a nice little find. Hopefully there's some good stuff in there. If not, fair enough, I suppose. There's only so much I can do about it. Two great chests. Bunch of bombs, which could end up being good. If we actually picked up glitter bombs, it would have been uh, a worthwhile choice for sure. I obviously did not, but still, <laughs> it could have been good. Uh, and there is the boss room. Weird floor layout. Kind of loops in on itself in the bottom right corner there, as you can see in the map. But, yeah, fairly unusual. So it's a one in three chance of a devil, uh, devil deal and two in three for an angel room, which... It genuinely could just be either or at this point. It's uh, not exactly the strongest odds one way or another, but at least the door will open if we survive the boss fight, which I can appreciate. I'm hoping that it's not Daddy Long Legs or something like that, but we do have Dad's Q, which allows us to leave the boss room a couple times, so that's kind of nice. Teratoma, that's, that's fine, actually, uh, provided that that baby doesn't go buck wild and destroys us all, but it seems to be going okay. Yeah, this, this boss dies really quickly. <laughs> also pretty weak against bombs, so I could have used that as well. Yeah, there's the double deal. Um, okay. Not bad. I think I have to take that. Uh, it's free, but you can only take one of them. So, you know, uh, pros and cons. I think I'm going to risk the experimental treatment. And it was a good risk. Really only lost range. Which is actually fairly bad now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> uh, that's actually a pretty rough deal. Yeah, my, my current range situation, but... Who knows, maybe we can get something to go along with it. Happy that I decided to check this room out before leaving. We have 89 coins. Which we can't really use anywhere, but if there is a money equals power on the next floor or something like that, it would be lovely. We are going to the lamp, so there is a bunch of devil deals on that floor as well. Uh, which might end up being pretty useful. I could just hang out over there and throw that. No worries. Blow up that for some extra devil deal chance. And now to just find a shopkeeper in a secret room or something like that, and then we are good to go. There you are. Very nice. Okay. So far, okay. <laughs> so far, acceptable, but worrying. That's really what this character is. Acceptable, but worrying the entire time. <laughs> Would have been nice if we got like some extra lives or something like that as well, but unfortunately the closest thing we got is Dad's key. Which isn't quite the same, I would say. I would like to keep looking for those super secret rooms as well. If we can find a uh, one with an angel statue or something like that, we could technically at some point get rid of Dad's key if we really needed to. Leviathan. Pentagram, I mean. Uh, that might be a big yes, I suppose. Especially since I can just leave. <laughs> Dad's key is pretty good. I actually need to remember stuff like that, that you can just open the door and leave, because that actually has a lot more power with the Holy Mantle than I really give it credit for. It is an extra layer of safety that I can use to just leave those bosses, because Daddy Long Legs was already looking at me with his weird little long legs. And it's a situation that I don't like to find myself in, because uh, it's a very good way to die. Judgment could be good if it's a coin beggar. 
Might be worthwhile to uh, use that in a devil deal if we get one. Definitely not guaranteed, but it would be nice if we did. So much money. Maybe in here there is a devil deal. Nope. Fair enough. Uh, what was it? No, I'm, hmm. Chariot is probably safer though. What if I just do this? And just give it to him here. I don't think it really makes any difference with the coin beggar anyway, because I think it's just a coin beggar item pool. Yeah, that's not really anything, is it? I guess I could have taken it in case I decide to reroll my entire build, but that's really the only situation I can think of where <laughs> taking that would be useful. And I honestly, at this stage, would rather have Incubus than try and reroll my build, if I'm honest. So let's just try and play this somewhat safe. Ugh. I'll just uh, do that. Holy water, please come back. Oh, maybe this will work as well. There we go. Three rerolls consumables on the floor. Which I guess could be good. Per throw. Oh, God. Okay. Um, That's a predicament because... Quite frankly, uh, if I'm honest, I'm too scared to uh, go into uh, just continue without the chariot because the chariot is at least some extra defense. Uh, I could reroll that because I don't care that much. So that might be worthwhile. Mm, and then there's you. I already blew up a beggar once. God. <laughs> I guess I could just give you a bunch of money and see if I can get some sort of recharge item or something like that, but that's really the only thing. God, these are awkward choices. I'm gonna take Per Throw and Hope for a Devil Deal and maybe re-roll it if there's something terrible in there. Or rather, if there's not something good in there. I'm just gonna take this because that's not gonna get re-rolled anyway. And let's see if we can survive this. That would be lovely. That would be an ideal situation if we could just not die. <laughs> so far... Alright, our damage is okay. At this point. Which I'm happy about. And my range, though. My range is looking pretty rough. That's okay. I kind of have to take that. <laughs> That's a little bit too good there. Knife isn't the most exciting thing in the game, but it is a very much a game-winning type of thing sometimes. Oh, God. Just two more guppy pieces. Technically possible with the direction we're going. Uh, range doesn't really matter as much, but it's still fairly bad how it is. But the knife does give some confidence in terms of actually being able to kill bosses, so that is wonderful. Keeping that chariot card in hand. Ah, oh, chariot's actually so good with the knife as well. So that ends up working out rather well. Suddenly scared of those red poops. <laughs> uh, we have the negative, so we're going down. We're making some progress. But there is always the chance we are getting blessed by loading screens at least. But it is... Uh, I have had runs die here before. I mean, it's very easy to uh, have that holy mantle just end and then still being in the brimstone. <laughs> so it does concern me a little, but enemies are dying real quick now with that knife for sure. I'm leaving that room. I don't want to deal with it. It's too many ghosts. Yeah, there's the bastard. At least one already died, so that's quite nice. Not loving this, but we did it. We're fine. We're good. I, I kind of want to just avoid big rooms, but then there are small rooms which are also bad, so it's not great, all things considered. I wonder if Dad's key works on that door. It does. It looks very locked. <laughs> very barred, but... And it doesn't really matter either, because I can just... I can recharge it fairly quickly, but... I could call it a waste. Like, like, rooms like this are fine. It's just a couple of bomby boys, but... That's not the scariest thing in the world. <sighs> Moving on. There we go. Please, no bombs. More, no more bombs. The good. 
Looking for them secret rooms. I haven't really checked out every location, I think, properly, but eh. It's ultimately fine, I suppose. No! I even pressed that chariot card button and it wasn't in time. Ah, oh, that's so frustrating. God, I wish we got some extra lives or something like that. I did say Brimstone was going to be my downfall as well, but jeez, ah, that's really unfortunate. <sighs> hmm. Just having a little bit of a think. Is there like a challenge I could quickly do? <laughs> like at least have some progress in this video because that is, ah, that's, that's just unfortunate, isn't it? Yeah, hmm. I could just do like a quick greed mode or something and then just call it a day. Actually, yeah. Actually, this entire time, it was just an Azazel greedier mode video. <laughs> sure, why not? I still got some time left. I might as well. But that is how it's going to be with the loss from time to time, unfortunately. Occasionally, no matter how good a run is, occasionally you just run into something stupid and die. <laughs> So, yeah, fair enough. Ultimately, I feel like I did what I could, but it just wasn't quite good enough this time around. Maybe we'll get him next time. That is an awkward enemy to face with no range. We're just gonna have some Azazel fun instead, and hopefully be able to clear Azazel Greedier mode, which is uh, an awkward mode for sure, because of that low range. It is gonna make the Ultra Greedier fight a little bit worrying. That's even his name. Might just be Ultra Greed or Super Greed or whatever, but probably something in that direction. But I'm hoping that it's gonna work out. At the end of the day, if we do actually manage to complete this, then we'll have another character fully completed, I think. So it, it would be kind of nice, for sure. But we are reaching the point where runs that I'm doing can very much end in disappointment. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. At least it is progress towards a couple of unlocks that require you to die a certain amount of times. So there is that. It is technically still progress in uh, in some sense of the word, but there is going to be characters where I'm going to get that progress regardless. So I don't really need to spend time with characters like these to try and do that at the end of the day. Um, I'll take the key that's on sale. I'm tempted by the 9 volt battery. Just in case I get a particularly good active item, but let's see if there's anything in here. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just gonna buy some more keys, I think. Yeah, I don't think I can particularly afford to take soy milk with with Azazel. I'm not even 100% sure how it will work on this character, but I can't imagine. Right now I need a win. <laughs> We just had a loss, and now we're getting a bunch of Larry Juniors who are just running around, this time with an extra enemy. Legally distinct from the previous wave. And overall, just a really good time. I'm not sure if I should go for Angel Rooms or Devil Deals, but I also, I guess, don't have health. So I guess I probably should just go for Angel Rooms instead, unless I can find some kind of source of health somewhere. But, you know, Devil Deals are fun. They could give me long-range Brimstone, and that'll be exciting. So let's just clear this up. Yes, do that stuff. Hope that you would just stay next to each other as much as possible, and that I can hit both of you with the same brimstone, but it's a little tricky. I I'm very curious about low range Azazel brimstone now, though. I'm kind of curious what it would do. <laughs> it only takes so long before my bad choice of brain like comes back again. It's like, hey, maybe you should, maybe you should take soy milk on Azazel. Maybe it would actually be really funny. Maybe it's not terrible. Maybe it's long range somehow. And that's that's that little demon. That I have to know. Yeah, that's fair enough. I mean, this is manageable. Hopefully, three bombs. I actually don't hate that because there was one with uh, with the thing here. Could maybe get some money. Okay. Didn't expect to get hit by that, but sure. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's something. 
<laughs> uh, I've made a poor decision, but you know what? We got a really wide brimstone, so at least we got that going for us. Even though it may not deal damage, it does look impressive, and occasionally that's all you really need. Jumper cables. I mean, I'd really love an active item at this stage, I suppose. That's really the one thing missing from all these active item replenishing things that we're finding this run, but, you know, we'll take what we can get at the end of the day. Um, I'll blow you up. Didn't take my decision. Alright, uh, not great items in here, but, you know, maybe we'll find something. Red chest for a... Ooh, Pandora's box. Uh, might be worth keeping that for the next floor, actually, for the soul heart. Or the womb for two boss items. Hmm. Well, either way. Either the next floor or the one after that. That's not a bad deal. <laughs> I can take that. Would like some damage somewhere along the line, because this is a little embarrassing for sure. Uh, at least I can shoot diagonally, I guess. So I can kill these enemies fairly easily. It is a little bit difficult to see, and then there's enemies like that, which are actually a problem right now. Unless we can find some kind of shielding tiers in this run, because, yeah, I wasn't going to get through that, I think. <laughs> uh, why do I make these decisions? <laughs> why do I decide to take soy milk? Just because it would be funny every time. It's rarely a good decision, but still, it <sighs> occasionally it does end up working out, you know? If I get, like... Certain good items that work with it really well, that would be just really nice. But obviously, I should probably have just considered making it easy on myself for once. <laughs> ah, well. We'll see what we can do here. Occasionally you need to play this game for fun as well, and that's an important part of playing Isaac. If you're not having fun, then what's the point at the end of the day, I suppose? So, there is that, but I am... Playing this a little bit more dangerously than I maybe would have liked. Uh, some of the enemies are dying at least, so that's good. Let's clear these out. Really just clearing out anything that would be a danger and isn't killed in a year. And that is the last wave already, so that's actually looking pretty good. Tempted to put some coins in the reroll machine, actually, just to maybe get one good item on this floor. Because right now, uh, we don't have a good item on this floor. <laughs> And I would like at least one good thing. There we go. The champion's dead. Now the other champion. It also explodes into tears, of course. There we go. Very nice. Hmm. Actually, uh, I don't really need tier 8, I suppose. I mean, the health up would be nice, but that's a very expensive health up. Um, I mean, it's even more batteries if I really wanted to recharge my active item, but... Uh, God, I really don't want to recharge my active item. <laughs> Why does the game seem to imply that I really, really want to? Come on. Oh, no. That was so many coins. D1. That's not bad. D1 has really strong potential. Ugh. I don't think I'm going to take it. I think I'm just going to stick with what I have. Even though I just spent a million coins into that machine, I think I'm still just going to stick with what I started off with here. This is a little awkward. I don't really have a way to get close to you because you're shooting so many explosives. Maybe you can help me kill that enemy as well. At least you're killing the champions, I suppose. But I would like it if you killed this boss as well. That would be lovely. At least this kind of works. <laughs> I'm just gonna chill over here. Hopefully this is not too bad. Hopefully this is gonna work out. It's a good learning lesson to see like what actually happens with um, soy milk with this character because I actually genuinely didn't know. Like I, I had an expectation and it, it well my, my expectation has been met unsurprisingly. But I had like a weird hope, like maybe it would just be a long range brimstone suddenly for no reason. Just because it's soy milk brimstone and you know, it's, maybe they only made one. Maybe they only made the one and that would have been really nice. But instead, we have this. <laughs> we have a short range, low damage, not so great experience. <laughs> oh well. We're making it through, sort of. It's taken a little longer than expected, perhaps, but, you know, we're making it somewhere. 
This is actually not too terrible either because I can just hang out over here. I don't think he can realistically do anything to me if I just end up doing this for a while. Unless I mess up. Unless he just goes away into a random corner of the room, I suppose. There is that. There is that possibility, but I think I'm fairly safe here as long as I don't mess up too much. Um, would like it if he just kept going in one direction the entire time, but... I mean, it's going. <laughs> it's certainly going. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Almost done with the boss already. This is a fabulous build. It's actually very strong. Right. Um, well, then. Deals two times your damage. Or. I'm not sure if this even is going to do anything, but I don't think it does. <laughs> Both of those items <laughs> weren't very impressive. Oh, God. It's been a strange day for Isaac, I suppose. Not quite what I was hoping for when I started off these runs, but it is what it is. Occasionally, that's just the way it is going to be. Well, obsessed fan and synth oil. I don't hate synth oil, at least, because it almost doubled my damage. <laughs> ah, does that work with me? Oh, and that's a d6. Oh, no. Oof. D6 is obviously pretty nice. Uh, I'm gonna see if this works. It probably doesn't. It probably doesn't do anything, but I just wanna know. I just wanna know. At least if there's a devil deal on this floor, then with the Pandora's box I can fairly safely take it because of all the soul hearts that I'm gonna end up dropping. So we got that going for us. I really wish I hadn't bought that item, because apparently it does nothing. <laughs> I don't know why I expected it to do something. But I had a hope, you know? Sometimes you have hopes and dreams, and occasionally they're correct. <laughs> but I'm finding out today that largely my hopes and dreams decisions are not out, like working out very well. And it's just very unfortunate. Uh, because it is making this a little bit awkward. I think Synth Oil was actually a range up as well, and that ends up being really helpful. So now at least I can kind of stay away from stuff, which is nice. Stuff is actually kind of dying right now as well. Yeah, the, just one damage up was enough to make that kind of workable. <laughs> which is fair enough. Hmm. Let's just give it a shot. I, I think I might actually um, use the Pandora's box here just for the health. Even though two boss room items is obviously fairly amazing. I still wouldn't mind just to force soul hearts and to have the D6 for the angel room or devil deal. I think that might end up being better. Uh, I don't want to do it though. But it's probably not a bad idea. Can you please work with me a little bit here, Mask? <laughs> just go up, stay up, don't just suddenly turn around again. For no real reason. At least my movement speed is alright, so I got that going for me. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do it. <sighs> Put you up. Right, I misread it. It's depths two that I'm in and not depths one. Whoops! Well, so much for that. We got a lot of money. <laughs> so we got that. Uh, I'm gonna reroll here a little bit. Okay, that's health, so that's good. Um, so I'm gonna take some of these. Um, if that's a devil deal, then that was a waste. <laughs> Please give me money. Thank you very much. Sometimes it helps to just ask nicely. Actually, quite frequently it helps to ask nicely. Mr. Me is also quite tempting, actually, in case you can get free stuff out of it. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna take this and hope it works out. I'm gonna take that and hope it actually does anything at all for me. Because it's genuinely quite hard to tell sometimes. I have one bomb, so if it is an angel room, then I can blow up the angel statue as well. That'll be lovely with this D6. It's 
the devil deal, then maybe there's soul hearts in there or black hearts. That would be nice. There is potential for good things here. Things are dying at an okay pace, at least. So, yeah, that's a devil deal. That's two ruins. Soul of Azazel. <laughs> Which is at least something. Uh, yeah, yeah, very nice. Very good. Very cool. Oh, at least we have health, I suppose. <laughs> I did end up getting the health that I wanted from that Pandora's box. He's not quite in the way I anticipated. That's, that's got to count for something. And we learned a little bit about Pandora's Box and Greed Mode as well, so really it was all a very positive experience. Um, surely that's not worth it. Okay, this is the one where I was hoping that I was getting and that it... Okay, now we got some loud zappies. We also got some chests we can reach because we have flight because we're a Zazel. We get the best trinket in Greed Mode. And uh, there's Chaos, which could be fun, but I'm not sure if it's particularly worthwhile and I'm just going to do that and I'm very sorry. I feel like I'm too many items in to try and go for chaos shenaniganry right now. <laughs> uh, 48 hour energy. Kind of an un unfortunate place to have used it I guess but still it's something. Um, I'm gonna bomb you. Even though it seems like a terrible idea. And I'm gonna reroll all of this for no real reason. That's a lot of bombs. Okay, I think I got something going here with the loud zaps at least. And I do finally have a use for those jumper cables as well, so that's kind of nice. I think that just increased my range and made everything really loud. So I, I think in a way that's that's a win-win. I think that's what they call that. And also, I th I'm guessing I probably deal more damage as well, regardless. And it makes my brimstone look really cool as well, which is nice. So there's there's a lot of pluses, and only really one negative, which is that you you can't actually hear me say any of this. But you know, it's it, <laughs> it is something. What was that pin? Right. That was weird looking. He just dived into the water there. I hope all those pins died. I couldn't actually tell, but I think. That's why the next wave started. Yeah, this is working. It's extremely loud, but <laughs> it's working. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm also just keeping that um, Rune of Azazel until the uh, Ultra Greed fight, I think, because I think it's going to be fairly useful there. I'm not sure if it benefits at all from... Um, like things and stuff from uh, the items that I have. Since Mega Blast is just effectively a really big beam. And big beams are fun. Uh, yes, yeah, obsessed fan, get him. Very nice, very strong. God, monster, you have the health of an elephant, but still, it's just give it a hundred more years and we'll be done with this fight. I guess I can't just really stay far away from things, huh? I don't know how much damage that is, but I think it is still reasonably effective. Alright. Oh, hey, Mom. Oh, God. Oh, I messed that up real good. <laughs> that was a good hit. A good time to take damage. It's a little tricky to dodge when you can't see the tears, but technically not impossible, I suppose. Hoping that the tears are going to take care of the enemies there as well. I don't know why I'm dodging it over here when I have all this room available. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making these choices. I'm not used to having so much space for this fight. But it's working out. Oh god, that's not what you want to see. That they, They're not all dead. They're not all dead. Okay, we're fine. We're good. We're dealing damage from this distance. Which is actually really, really nice. How? Is it so slow at the top? It's an angel room with a meat cube in it! Why? I'm gonna blow you up. I mean, meat cube is actually not terrible for the uh, Ultra Greed fight, I suppose, but still... I'd rather have two angel room items. <laughs> and with that reroll, I think we can get just that, I'm assuming. If we can get a sacred heart, that would just be really nice. Just make my day, please. 
Or a ladder. It's not immediately terrible. Book of Revelations? Ooh, that's actually really nice as well. Hmm. Instead of d6. Yeah. It might seem like a terrible choice, and it might actually be, but I think this is fine. Uh, given the fact that I'm gonna actually take one bomb with me in case there's like a shopkeeper I can blow up on the next floor. But I think with jumper cables I can get my health to a really nice situation. And that'll be nice. I should probably have destroyed those flames, but I didn't. And we still got a couple floors to go before we actually reach greed as well. Uh, we can check this out for a holy card, which is tempting. There is a shield, which I don't care about too much. Uh, and I can just blow up this shopkeeper as well, I guess. I guess I'll just buy this and then use it. And that'll be a holy mantle effect until I get hit. Fairly sure holy card works like that now. Uh, yeah. Alright. Find any more chests, that's good, I guess. We have enough keys for the rest of the run, so that's kind of nice. That's pretty good. There is the uh, shopkeeper I was talking about, in case I wanted to blow him up. Tempted by the red candle, uh, because I just want to buy new items every floor that are just active items. So uh, that's, that's my thought process right now. But... Uh... And let's just re-roll a little bit. Just a little bit. Black candle. Don't care that much, but there's items on sale and those could be good. That's a soul heart. That's a battery. Which is even more health. And that's also health, but not really in a great way. I'm just going to leave it at that, I think. Um... Yeah, I think I'm just going to do this and not take damage. And then the Swallow Penny won't be good to have. Yeah, that's the strat. Immediately lost the Holy Mantle and took damage. But, you know, theoretically, that's the last bit of damage. <laughs> I, th I think, yeah, I think with Jumper Cables especially, this is actually so much money, though. Or so much health, rather. So I think I don't mind my choice here. Because look at how quickly that book recharged. That's actually amazing. I'm actually very happy about that because health is pretty valuable. Also, it recharges during the Ultra Greed fight. Not great charges, I suppose, because well, you need to kill like 15 enemies before it charges once. But still, it's he it, it does he has the ability to spawn roughly 15 enemies or more with that one attack. So it's not well. It's progress, I suppose. It's progress. <laughs> Yeah, let's just use that again. Oof! Big jump. Nothing I'm scared of. I could technically just get infinite health from this fight as well, but I'm not sure what my health situation is, and I think I might be at full health at this stage. With the amount of healing that I've picked up at this point. Um, definitely might be a lower amount now, I guess, but... I don't think it's going to be worth worrying about my health anymore at this stage. I think I really should just go exclusively for damage. And if I can get some damage somewhere, that'd be nice. We got decent money going on at least, so that's good. Um, apparently, I have an email according to a very loud Windows notification in the background, so I'm hoping that everyone heard that. Uh... Because otherwise, you don't know about my email situation, and I feel that pertains to everyone's personal lives by a lot. So, just keep that in mind. Don't be worried about it, please. As I'm destroying every enemy in the game with a build that is certainly a build. But perhaps would be a little bit better if I had made better life choices. <laughs> Alright. Devil deal. Two more runes. Soul of Judas. And another soul of Azazel. Kind of makes me... Sad that I didn't end up using it because we got a second one, but you know, I'm gonna buy one more. And it was worth it. It was very worth it. Um, buy this too. I'm gonna leave it at that, I think. Definitely full health. Alright, one more floor to go. Uh, we got magic mushrooms, so suddenly our damage situation might actually be pretty damn okay right now. I uh, forgot about the staircase. 
Yep, that's Sacred Heart. Can't afford it, though. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, uh, nuts. Well, that's, that's greedier for you. I mean, I could have just done the floor first. Uh, you know, I could have just uh, done the floor regularly and then and then go up the stairs because I wouldn't have left the room. But you are not talking to an intelligent person. You're talking to me. You're talking to someone who does his thinking after doing his actions. <laughs> and it is not working out. But, you know, it's uh, it'll be fine, hopefully. I'm going to actually genuinely assume that it's going to be fine because it, the build is acceptable. We already got Magic Mushroom as well, and while the uh, multiplier, damage multiplier is better on Sacred Heart for sure, it is still not a bad multiplier on Magic Mushroom by any means. I think it's like 2, two times or 2.5 times on, uh, on Sacred Heart and only 1.5 on Magic Mushroom, I believe. But ultimately, I'm having fun. I hope everyone else is. <laughs> It's gonna be a pretty long episode, I suppose, just because I ended up doing some pretty long things and then switched between run type, but, you know. It's all for the sake of keeping that imaginary progress per run thing going on that has somehow worked out for quite a while now. Until roughly this point. There we go. Who's left? That... Ah. That's a little fiddly for sure. But not impossible. It's already done. Right, nice. One more use of our little book there. Might end up switching out the book, I guess, if uh, if uh, I can't get another use out of it, and I can get a better active item. But I don't know what better active item would be available. I suppose sulfur, maybe. That's not sulfur. It's not great either because it's just gonna. Oh, and I take. A hit. It didn't even give me a stat up, I think. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's just put some coins in him. That's not the chaos card that my heart wished it was. Uh, I guess I'll take charge, baby. Pause could be fun. Luck. Lucky foot. Little late, I suppose. But would be would be nice way earlier in the run. Uh, this could be actually okay. Right? I mean, it looks fun. And then we got that one, which is actually the one I wanted. Because that's just a pretty significant range up. And I think that's probably better. I can't really afford anything anymore, but I do have a bunch of bombs. Uh, so I cannot get money from this. Oh! 14 coins. If we get one more coin somewhere, then that'll be nice. Technically not impossible. Alas. I mean, I could get one for blowing up the uh, machine, I suppose. Alright, let's just blow you up over there. Take that. Get a coin from this. No, we got two coins. BFF. I'm just kind of curious if it does something with uh, the, the battery, I suppose. I'm just going to do it. We got a big battery. Oh, it changes the micro uh, cells to actually be really big. That's pretty fun. I think I'm going to keep the Mega Blast until the uh, last phase. Wait, the... Oh, God. I didn't know this would be here. I mean, it didn't matter in the end because uh, there's nothing really there, I suppose. Also, I didn't expect the little, little Isaacs to come with me to this floor, but yeah, fair enough. That might actually end up dealing some damage. <laughs> that's actually quite a lot of them. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. I hope they do some work. But yeah, I'm hoping that... It, I think the second phase is going to be more tricky with this build just because of the weird range situation that I got going on. Plus, I can stay further away with that Mega Blast. Uh, which is also range. I'm real, I'm I just have a lot of range. It's, it's the nice thing about Mega Blast. And I wish, wish to utilize it as much as I can. Unfortunately, so far, I only took hit from the one thing that deals a full heart of damage, but, you know. Fair enough. Yeah, the enemies are dying pretty quickly, so that's good. It gives me charges from my book and allows me to just uh, get my health back again. So, yeah. Not hitting these jumper cables. I'm mean, actually just going to try and keep these keys alive and let the doors open, I think, for the most part. I'm underestimating my range, I'm realizing, but, you know, fair enough. 
But this is a lot of enemies. It, it's really powerful with jumper cables. <laughs> that was like two full charges. Don't mind that. Gonna hopefully destroy that. Yep, worked out. Didn't get any money from it, but Battery Baby did end up freezing the Greed Boy there for a second, so that's good. Took another one heart of damage. I'm getting hit by the actual boss rather than anything else. Need to stop walking into him. <laughs> Preferably. That would be wonderful. Yeah, just gonna stick to this strategy, I think, of keeping these keys alive, because quite frankly, it's so many enemies and so many good charges. Plus, every time I get hit, I, I make another friend that deals some extra damage to the boss, I suppose, as well. So it kind of ends up working out. But I think most of them died, so it's like, eh. It's kind of working out. Oh my god, I need to stop getting hit by actual greed, though, because that is getting a little frustrating for sure. Okay. I got hit by something else, so at least, you know changing my patterns, but not quite in the way that I uh, meant. There is a tiny battery in the bottom right of this room. I'm hoping to leave it for later. Once I have fully charged my current item. Struggling to kill quite enough enemies here. Kind of hoping you just spawn some regular ones. There we go. It's taking a minute, but we're, we're making... we're doing it. <laughs> we still got alright health, all things considered, even with the hits we've taken so far. Struggling to see tears when they're getting shot at me, though. Like, the coins I can see, but the tiny tears that are getting shot at me from occasion are mostly invisible. So, I was hoping I could get away with just standing in front of them and not move too much, because they do shoot in two separate diagonal directions, but it has not worked out great. Um, I'm gonna just wait for a little bit here and hope that that Ultra Greed stays alive for a little bit longer. Because his health is getting fairly low there. But we did end up getting another charge there, so that's good. Just gonna sit over here and hope this hits. Yeah. Please no next to me though. Okay, pretty awkward, but it's working out. But no, not that way. What is hitting me? I guess I do actually need to be careful that I'm also moving with that Mega Blast there. That's what it looks like. I don't know if I've shown it off before, but it's quite fun. And now I just need to survive for a little while. His health is getting pretty low at least, so things are looking good. We got a luck up, which is probably good in some way. And then when this attack happens, I'm pretty happy because not much needs to be dodged. <laughs> I'm getting quite a lot of money as well. Which is good for our second loop of the donation machine, which is pointless but fun. And I'm hoping to just fill it a full second time. But I think uh, we basically won at this stage unless we get really unlucky or something. Because he's just taking too much damage at this point. And I'm hoping that I am correct in saying that. Because I am standing in a very precarious spot when I'm trying not to take damage. I am just standing right in front of him. There we go. Whew. That was greedier mode. We got the sucky baby in the basement and the bat wing, which is a trinket that also has some effect in the video game. So, all in all, it may have taken an hour and a half, but technically there is progress in this video. <laughs> <laughs> Just not quite with the character I started off with, perhaps, but it is also another completed character. It's probably the easiest one to complete for sure, but still, it is a completed character and I'm happy about that, and I hope you are too. It's a little bit of extra progress. I hope you all enjoyed it so far. Next time we played, I'll do another run with maybe another character. Maybe I'll give the loss another shot, but it can be pretty demotivating. But either way, I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye. <laughs>